Uh, since 1976, myself and my father's had it since the 70, uh, uh, late 60s, uh, and it's Max Army Stores, opened from 1948 to 1971, and it changed name to New Cross Army Stores. And then in the early 90s, when the website started getting very popular, we changed to militarykit.com. We still kept our own name as New Cross underneath yeah. the title, which has been our established name because the area at the top of the Tip Street is called New Cross so as, as an area. So that's why we adopted that name, New Cross, in the 70s and yeah. uh, stuck with us ever since. So, reputable company. We've been here in independent for a long, long time. So, quite pleased with that. Um, most places are changed now, but Northern Quarter seems to have that vibrant independent area a bit like uh, Covent Garden London you know for all the big yeah. big boys coming and pushed us out we were next door we actually moved to this premise six years ago uh, knocked out two buildings and knocked them into one pet shops was the main one it was renowned for in the 70s um, before that it was obviously a vibrant area because the Smithfield market at the back um, used to bring a lot of people up here but I would say Tib Street was a lot busier than Oldham Street ironically or some parts of Market Street in the sort of early 30s and 40s as probably Flickr will sort of suggest yeah. that. Yeah I mean some things have, uh, have, have stayed the same, very very few I mean I would say out of all of the whole of Tib Street um, we're probably the longest sort of tenants staying yeah. here you know um, just because there's not many army surplus stores in Manchester and um, and it does really well through it so um, yeah. Yeah. my interest when he popped in as a on a whim um, yeah. a, a, a suggesting about Carpenter's Lane because the numbers were different yeah. uh, back then uh, it, it drew my interest straight away because I'm always a fascination with uh, old era photos etc so yeah it's brilliant and um, I'll definitely uh, look it up now I was itching to get at it right now actually <laughs>